It's Gluten-Free Brownie Wars. I'm setting up Glutino against Live G Free and it'll be a taste test. I wanted to take a quick look at the box directions. This is Glutino. This one says um, use an oven at 350, either a 7 by 11 pan or 8 by 8. I wish it would come into focus. And for this one, we're going to need, um, let's see, it's two eggs or four egg whites, a third of a cup plus a tablespoon of butter. And um, for this one, they say to beat the eggs first for two to three minutes. That was kind of interesting. Then gradually add the dry ingredients and kind of focus again. Um, and beat and then bake for 25 to 27 minutes. The other weird thing, it's after cooling completely, it says for best results, freeze one hour before cutting. Wouldn't that make for frozen brownies? The Live G Free, on the other hand, says a half a cup of butter or oil, two large eggs, two tablespoons of water. And then they say to preheat the oven to 350, but if you're using either a glass pan or a dark metal plant pan to use uh, the temperature at 325, you just stir the melted butter or oil with the eggs in the water and with a whisk, and then add the mix and blend it and bake it for 30 to 35. So here's how they look plated up. Um, but really, um, the test is in the taste test. They both look like regular brownies. These are made from rice flour. So let's give it a taste test. Obviously, I'm finishing this video on a different day. So um, the, the Live G Free, which by the way is distributed by and sold by Aldi, that one came out pretty well. And um, there's this one right here. And even the inside pieces are pretty good. Mm. They're pretty fudgy. I maybe like my brownies a little bit more cakey. But it's okay. And then this one is the Glutino. Now this one, well I should say for both of them, I baked them for the longest amount of time that it said. Now this one I did not put in the freezer like it said to do. I'm going to do that though because when I first tasted it, I was tasting an edge. And the edges and the corners are done. They're not good. But the center really didn't get done. Also, the Glutino contains chocolate chips, which I think is totally unnecessary because they end up getting really melty. So it could be that it's a combination of being underdone and chocolate chips being in there. So my bet is if you want something that's pretty foolproof that's going to come out well, my winner is the Live G Free from Aldi. I don't know if you have an Aldi near you or not. They're all over the Chicago area. I've seen them in a lot of small towns like driving into Michigan. Um, there were, I think I saw three of them um, the last time I was there. So that's my winner. I think um, I'll probably put a note on the video or in the description box below to tell you how I think the Glutino turns out after being in the freezer for an hour, because I'm going to do that next, um, to, just to see, you know, that's what they said to do, so maybe they firm up a little bit better. You know, maybe that chocolate chip turns into hard chocolate candy once it's in the freezer for an hour. Why wouldn't the refrigerator work? I don't know. I just think whatever you want. It just seems weird to put it in the freezer for an hour. But I'll let you know how it turns out. Thanks for watching. Bye. Next, I'm going to grind the quinoa into a quinoa flour. So make sure that you're using white quinoa, not one that's brown or that has the mix, because these are blondies after all. And I'm going to want